people of God, Lent is a season of repentance, a time for confronting the ways our lives, our world, fall short of God's intention for humankind. We confess our sin and the sins of the world to take the first step in creating a world more just, more compassionate, more reflective of the way of Christ. We are not yet what we shall be, but we are growing toward it through the work of the Spirit. Repentance is not the end, but it is the road we travel together. God is with us as we journey towards a future where the glory of Jesus has purified all of creation. May God's love for you sustain you in the work of building heaven on earth. God of grace and restoration. By your Son's righteousness, you have redeemed the world. Help us to feel the experience of your grace. Grant us the peaceful reassurance of a future of wellness, wholeness, and community with you. Strengthen us for the work of bearing forth your love into this world. Use our words and our actions to bring new life and hope into the lives of others. You are always with us, even in our times of waiting. Thank you for your steadfast love. Amen. Our scripture for us this evening, as we continue focusing on this journey of confession and repentance, comes to us from 1 John in the first chapter, verse 9. It reads, If we confess our sins, God, who is faithful and just, will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. These are words we've heard before. We use them in a typical confession we use in worship on Sundays. Now our focus today is that we get to confess without fear of God's punishment because we live in God's grace already. Repentance is not some kind of fine or a price we pay in order to buy off our sinful actions. No, repentance means becoming partners with God in redeeming this world by trying to undo as best we can the impact of what we have done wrong. But, of course, before we start that journey of repentance, we need to identify, we need to know what we are repenting from. So tonight, we start with the easy part. The individual things that we have done wrong. Now, I, I say it's the easy part because these are the more obvious things. They stick out. 
Now, I don't know about you, but these are the things I remember at night when I'm going to sleep. Things we feel guilty about, the things we remember, that we regret, that we might be a little ashamed of. Things we said or posted online. Something that might have hurt somebody's feelings. Being rude to somebody. Breaking something that belongs to somebody else. Stealing, including keeping too much change at the store. Gossip, lying, and yes, even about fish, it applies. Now, I could say make a list, but chances are most of us already have a list. It lives right here in our heads. Now, the problem, of course, is that if we stop right there, if we stop with confession, we are left with guilt and fear, a feeling of hopelessness, and for some of us, even some kind of perverse proof that we are losers, we're dirty, we're no good. That's why we don't stop there. We start with confession. Now, confession is hard because it admits we dropped the ball. We have done things wrong. But remember, because of God's promise, we don't need to be afraid. God is not out to punish us. God wants to remove our guilt and our fear and lead us on the path to freedom and peace within. That's where the journey of repentance takes us. It's not just saying, I'm sorry. No, it is that, but it's so much more. It is also showing that we are sorry and that we intend to live differently, to live in God's path. So repentance is a journey of healing for those we have hurt and healing for us too. If we've broken something, we apologize and we replace it. If we've hurt somebody's feelings, we apologize, and then we do the inner work to try to make sure we don't do it again. If we have stolen something or kept something that belongs to somebody else, we return it, we apologize, and we stand willing to face the legal and the personal consequences. If we have gossiped or lied, we apologize. But the catch is we need to apologize in the same forum where we hurt somebody. So if it was a private conversation, we apologize in private. If we did it in a public forum or online, we apologize publicly or online. This kind of uh, repentance is very specific. Now again, it doesn't mean that we won't face legal or personal consequences. We might lose somebody else's trust or respect. And it's important to remember that it doesn't just apply to those times we were caught. Oh no, it applies to all things. The confession looks behind us. It looks to the past. Repentance looks to the future with a commitment to live differently. It marks a change in direction. A confession without repentance means choosing to live with guilt and fear. Repentance is the way that we get to become full partners with God in the path of redemption and freedom. It is a change from hiding selfish thoughts and actions in the dark to doing acts of love that bring healing and peace to others and to us. And friends, it feels good. It feels good, it is freeing, and we can go there without any fear. God does not want to punish us. God seeks to restore us, to set us free, and to bring us peace. And it feels good. It feels good to be God's partners in healing the world around us, even as we are healed as well. May repentance bring you peace. Thanks be to God.
saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Twas grace that taught. God of our days, in this journey of Lent, you invite us to the practices of reflection and repentance, of slowing down, being still, centering ourselves in your ways of caring for others. Forgive us for the ways we have failed to reveal your love for all people, for times we have responded to others out of fear or anger or failed to respond for lack of caring. Your amazing love is for all of creation. Thank you for how you love us without fail, for the freedom and new life you share with us, for always working in the world to bring about justice and peace. You are with us always an ever-present help in times of trouble. Be at work in us and through us. In Jesus' name, amen. Peace appear the hour I first.